Now, Johnny Depp is suing his ex-wife Amber Heard for libel in the U.S. state of Virginia over an article she wrote for the Washington Post back in 2018. Of course, there was also the case that happened in London mm. recently. We're going to get into that. There's a lot going on. But before we cross to America, let's take a quick look at what's happened at the trial so far. There were um, arguments and um, things of that nature, but never did I myself r reach the point of um, uh, striking Miss Heard in any way, nor have I ever struck uh, um, any woman. With Ms. Ms. Heard, he was triggered, and um, they engaged in what I saw as mutual abuse. It's not right what, ha what she did and what happened for so many people to get affected from this. It's, it's insane and Mr. That this, how this happened. Wow. Joining us uh, with the very latest is US-based reporter with the Daily Mail, Harriet Alexander. Harriet, thank you so much for staying up for Good us. Good morning. Um, OK, we all know that Johnny Depp took a libel action in uh, the UK against the Sun after the, it branded him a wife beater, but he did lose that action against the Sun. So what's happening in Virginia right now in this trial between both Amber Heard and Johnny Depp? So now we're in the second week of this trial, and it's a defamation case. It's essentially Johnny Depp's sort of second crack at the whip, if you were, because he is suing Amber Heard for defamation uh, as a result of an article that she wrote in 2018 in the Washington Post. And that's why it's being held in Virginia, because that's where the Washington Post servers are, where their printers are. And he is accusing her of essentially causing him huge financial losses because of this op-ed in which she said she was essentially the poster girl for, uh, for abuse victims. And she's countersuing him for $100 million for calling her a liar. Absolutely. Yes, yes. I mean, the sums are quite astronomical, but you really have to take into account that, that Johnny Depp, I mean, he is absolutely one of the highest paid actors in, in Hollywood, at least he was. If you remember in, back in 2010, he was the highest paid. Um, and he made a fortune through the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Mm. But after Amber Heard wrote this op-ed, he was dropped from that series. And that's essentially what this all comes down to. Uh, and of course, during this, towards the end of their relationship, he was going through financial difficulty. He, it had been proven that, or his accountants had um, misappropriated money, shall we say. But in relation to this trial, Harriet, there is so much, every single day we're hearing so much, we're getting an insight into their home lives. Why is there so much audio and visual, uh, visual recordings of both Amber Heard and Johnny Depp available on the internet to us? Right. I mean, it seems that they were both recording each other. I mean, the picture that we're getting so far is is very much, of course, Johnny Depp's side of the story. Um, he has been on the witness stand on Tuesday and Wednesday. So he is talking about his troubled childhood. He's talking about his version of events. Um, it seems that he was recording her and she was recording him. They were texting friends about what was going on. So there's a, a wealth of information about this relationship, which is really all being aired in public. And that gives us an awful lot to dig into. And of course, there was details of abuse in the relationship between both of them. So it's quite a toxic relationship anyway. Oh, my goodness. I mean, toxic really is the word when you get all of these accounts from all of these different people. So so we've heard so far from people like um, like the marriage counsellor who uh, had 21 sessions with with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard to try and resolve their problems. We've heard from Johnny Depp's private medical staff who reportedly he was paying one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month to keep these people on his payroll. And these are the people who are giving him a lot of his prescription drugs. He says he had sciatica, and that's why he ended up with all of these opioids that he then became addicted to. Um, so we're getting a real picture of, of the entourage. And I think this comes back to the point as to how we have so much recorded, because all of these people were taking notes about what was going on with their incredibly difficult clients.
And an awful lot has been made, I suppose, of um, accusations of physical violence between the two of them. So, so what is going on there? Has, has anything been admitted by, as you said, we're with Johnny Depp's testimony at the moment. Has anything been admitted or conceded mm. there? Well, he has always said that he he had a troubled past. He's been open about his drug use. Um, he's certainly not claiming to be an angel in any way, but he is insisting that he's never been violent, that he's never hit a woman uh, and certainly not hit Amber Heard. But on the other hand, he is insisting that she was the one who was attacking him. He said that she would throw things at him ashtrays, wine bottles, glasses of wine, anything that kind of came near her. Um, he says he, he gives incredibly vivid accounts, of course, being the, the master of storytelling that he is about what it was like living together and how people would wince when she walked past. And this is backed up by his friends who have been called in his defense, um, who are painting, painting a picture of this incredibly volatile and unpleasant and just shockingly abusive relationship on both sides. And are we going to see some high-profile people taking the stand? Yes, yes, indeed. We, we do expect so. Uh, on the witness list for Johnny Depp is people like Paul Bettany, his friend. Um, James Franco, the actor, might testify. Ellen Barkin as well. Now, we had expected that Elon Musk might even be called uh, because he and Amber Heard were briefly in a relationship together after she was with Johnny Depp. But that actually now seems unlikely because he's not a resident of Virginia, so he can't be forced to testify in this case if he doesn't want to. Uh, and I suppose yesterday we were listening to the accusations of, you know, abuse. Again, we're with mm. Johnny and, uh, you know, we we're talking about the severing of his finger with a glass bottle uh, that he was, as he was bent over, he was kicked in the head when he tried to get away from a fight. It seems a lot of the recordings I've listened to were like him trying to get away from a fight so that nothing would escalate. But of course, Amber heard hasn't yet taken to the stand Harriet right and I think what's been so 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 riveting is that is that the camera work has been astonishing in this so Johnny Depp will be giving his side of the story and quite often the camera will then cut to her and you will see her reaction as he is portraying his side of events so uh, in the opening statements last week when Amber Heard's lawyers were saying you know that he was incredibly violent towards her that he had uh, done all of these things he was shaking his head and he was all you know he was saying no um, and you had Amber Heard looking very tearful throughout some of it. So it's been really remarkable to see the two of them juxtapose, juxtaposed and, and reacting to each other's allegations in real time. And Harriet, the outcome of this, like, so say if he's cleared or they say that... Well, not cleared. Not cleared. He, cleared. He He'll wins. never be cleared. Yeah, if, he wins, if, he wins. if he wins this case, like, what happens then? Obviously, his... Like his name's not clear. He's still there's still a lot of mud around Johnny Depp now. Mm. So what's yeah, the next, it's going to be interesting to see. Right. I mean, financially, it's ruinous, isn't it? I mean, it's huge amounts of money, um, and he he, as he said, has has already been in a lot of financial hot water with his excessive spending and huge amounts of money that he's been throwing around. So the, the financial consequences are going to be enormous. I mean, it's it's been reported that they've both already spent $20 million on lawyers to get this far, because this is a long running case. This is a, a case that was originally filed uh, back in 2019. So it's been going on for an awful long time readying for this. Um, so it's the, the the financial implications. He absolutely wants to um, rebuild his career, make himself back to be one of the most marketable men in Hollywood. Whether that is going to be possible, it, it remains to be seen. And she wants to carry on this role as a champion of abused women. But also, I, I imagine she wants to get back to her acting career uh, and to land prize roles again. So um, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens for both of them. Yes. Um, Harriet uh, Alexander from the Daily Mail joining us uh, from America this morning. Thank you so much for joining us, Harriet. Thank you.